بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now probably in this uh, video we'll try to see about the ENG professional Now if you go to download options on ENG now there are two different versions you'll find you have something like professional or the learning set version or even you have something called free community edition So if you don't want to go with the license and you want to use the free version then probably you can go ahead and download this one and you can upload the images and you can start uh, practicing the labs Now again uh, with the the free edition the free community edition have some slide works uh, maybe all the images may not work especially when you are doing with SD WAN labs or any advanced uh, labs uh well, that may not work so probably in that scenarios you need to go with even the uh, professional version so probably this professional version requires a kind of licensing so of course you have to download the even the image just like i showed you download this and open this in your vmware workstation or a vm player and then once you do that then probably you can start uploading the images to that but again if you are going with the pro version you need to go for the license option so if you want to uh, just just i'll provide you some details relating to this a uh, license option so if you click on this buy section or you can click on that buy tab on the on the main menu now here you'll find a uh, professional and the corporate uh, license versions So basically, if you want to buy the Eve NG professional license, it costs somewhere around one fifty USD per year, ninety nine euros. Uh, that is a per year license, and you can renew every year if you want to uh, access or if you want to use Eve NG uh, properly. So the prerequisite we need to make sure that we already have the downloaded the Eve NG Pro version. So the Pro version you need to download first, and you have to open up that that in the VM. like here you can see in my vm i already have this even the pro version and i already opened up and this is the ip address 192.168.15.31 which is uh, automatically extracted based on my local subnet what i am using and i should be able to at the same time i should be able to uh, get into the browser from where i can log into my even the from where i can see my files So once you do this, then probably you have the steps already in inside the portal here. So if you just go to the web portal, you have to request the license first. You have to click on request the license from your browser, and once you click on that, then it will cop it will provide you this code. Now probably this code you have to paste at the time of purchasing the license. Now after that, you can go and buy. Uh, probably once you do this. like here you need to uh, click on license request now already i have this license option so you don't see that but normally you should see this option so copy this one and then you need to go and buy the particular license so so basically the license somewhere around you know uh, it will vary probably around 150 usd per year now this is one year license Now this is something work if you are practicing, especially the SD WAN labs or any advanced firewalls, uh, those kind of things. So if you are using the free community version, that may have some kind of slight bugs, and not all images may work. You you still can run the uh, highways, IVL, and ASS, and some other images, but there are few things may not work. So if you are going with the licensed pro version, uh, most of those things work. so once you do the payment now again the same thing these are all the same uh, thing you need to go with the uh, payment options and then provide your details and then whatever the license you have copied from your machine so you have to paste that that license here so what is the license you copied from your machine paste that one and once you do that once you make the payment then probably you will be getting an email from e and this one so probably this uh, license whatever you get with your registered email address but you need to paste this back into your event so 
So basically, you you will be uh, providing the license information uh, probably here. Or you have to upload the license here actually. So once you upload the license, then probably it will convert into a pro version. And this is a basically the process. Now this process you normally see on the on the website as well. Uh, you don't need to really. You can find most of the details probably if you go through with the website. Now, if you're going with SD-WAN labs or any advanced labs, probably I, I recommend you to go with the pro license option where you, you will find uh, most of the images will be working in that. And already I have given an overview what are the different types of versions or the features works. So if you go to the if you go to the features, then you'll find some differences as well, but this is not a bigger difference, like mostly the technical differences between them. And in terms of uh, images, probably you will find the different uh, images what they support. Like here, if you go to the documentation, in the documentation, you will find a lot of options where what are the supported images and how to, where you can find, how to upload the specific image if you have and how to, uh, do, do, uh, how to do that, basically the process and everything you'll find in the documentations, as well as you'll find some videos as well, which will guide you with a step-by-step -step process. 